my speech and the one on the lectern too? Okay.
Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Joe Newell, your Associate Student President. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the National Anthem to be sung by the Mesa Vocal Ensemble members, Kimberly Hemphill, Anais Lund, Niles Olson, and Jason Reed. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, the Mesa College Vocal Ensemble will lead us in singing our national anthem. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. You may be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2018 commencement of San Diego Mesa College. 
My name is Pam Luster, and I am the incredibly proud president of Mesa College. It is an honor and privilege to preside over this commencement, for today is a historic day at Mesa College. Today, we have Mesa students who are graduating with the first bachelor's degrees ever awarded in the history of the college. And it's not too shabby that the rest of y'all are here to get your degrees and certificates too, so congratulations on that. It's my pleasure to introduce you to the members of our stage party. They will stand as I call their names and remain standing. I ask that the audience hold their applause until everyone has been introduced. First are the individual members of the San Diego Community College District Board of Trustees. They provide leadership for the colleges and continuing education in the district and have provided extraordinary support for our college. Starting from my far right is Trustee Mary Graham, Trustee Bernie Reinerson, Trustee Peter Zicci, Trustee Rich Grosch, Trustee and Board President Dr. Maria Nieto Sr. And the next person is well known to everyone in the Mesa community because she is our former president and, now, and leader of the Community College District, Dr. Constance Carroll, our Chancellor. Also joining us are Tim McGrath, Vice President of Instruction, Dr. Shanti Hans, Vice President of Student Services, Dr. David Fierro, Acting Vice President of Administrative Services, Antonio Martinez, Mesa College's 2018 Distinguished Alumnus, Joan Newell, President of the Mesa College Associated Students, Matilda Christofferson, our 2018 student speaker, Kim Perigo, President of the Academic Senate and Professor of Communication Studies, forgot the doctor, sorry Kim, Dr. Trina Larson, President of the Classified Senate, Eileen Crakes, Dean of Student Development, Gabe Adana, Counselor, and seated with her first class of bachelor's degree students as our 2018 HIM student speaker, Brandy Raz. Also joining us today are important guests from our district office and other campuses. Dr. Stephanie Bolger, our Vice Chancellor of Instructional Services. Dr. Carlos Turner Cortez, President of San Diego Continuing Ed. Jack Beresford, Director of District Communications and Public Relations. Amanda Ficken Davis, Board of Trustees Office Supervisor. We're also pleased to have guests Blanca Martinez, Liba De La Mora, and Rosa De La Mora, guests of our distinguished alumnus Antonio Martinez and a very important group of people, sorry folks, <laughs> very important group of people, join me in welcoming you all here today and I would like to ask them to stand. Could the faculty, staff, and administrators of Mesa College please stand? We thank these very dedicated people who have really created rich learning environments where you found new ideas, discovered your passion, and encouraged you to move on to the next step in your journey. The next portion of our commencement is my favorite part, and it's when we get to talk about the class of 2018. And to do that, I'm going to ask up our VP of Student Services, Dr. Ashanti Hans. Good afternoon. I'm Ashanta Hans, the Vice President for Student Services. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of providing you with the direct evidence of how amazing this graduating class really is. Mesa College's 54th graduating class is comprised of 1,998 students and will be awarding 1,725 academic degrees and 410 certificates. That's an 8% increase in degrees awarded since last year. And this year, for the first time ever, Mesa College is conferring 16 bachelor's degrees in health information management. You will see these students in the front row in blue robes. Yes. 
713 of our students are graduating with two or more degrees. Our 34 valedictorians have achieved that rare and perfect grade point average of 4.0 and an academic record of straight A's. 27 students receiving associate degrees fall into this category, and you will notice them by their blue robes. Would all of you also please rise and be recognized, all of our valedictorians. Congratulations. In addition to our blue-robed valedictorians, our students are graduating with honors, which means a grade point average of 3.5 or above. Associate degrees honors graduates are wearing gold cords, while those earning certificates with honors are wearing white cords. Are you ready for this? We have 586 students who are graduating with honors. Will all of our Will all of our bachelor's valedictorians, honors graduates, and members of our honors program, Phi Theta Kappa, and Psi Beta Honors Societies, please stand and be recognized. Thank you, and please be seated. Community colleges are considered an important step in higher education for many reasons, but chief among them is our focus on increasing access, equity, and success in higher education to all Californians and their families. This great tradition is evidenced today by the great diversity represented by this graduating class. From Aya Bayasi, at age 18, who is joining us today, to Sharon Landis, who is 72 years old, who was unable to be here today. I would also like to recognize those in the class of 2018 who participated in the Associated Students, formerly known as Associated Student Government. We appreciate Joe Newell, AS President, and all of our student leaders and senators for their service and governance. Will all of our student leaders please stand to be recognized? Thank you, and please be seated. We are proud to recognize our graduates who have served our country, who represent all branches of the military, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard, including veterans, active duty, and reservists. Over 31 of our graduates are veterans. Will all of our military graduates, dependents, and guests in their families please rise for a round of applause. Thank you for serving our country and for allowing us to serve you. This year, we have 34 international students graduating, and 21 of them, that's two-thirds, are graduating with honors, and two are valedictorians with perfect 4.0s. They represent 14 countries, including Brazil, Canada, China, Colombia, Germany, Haiti, Japan, Latvia, Mexico, Norway, South Korea, Russia, Sweden, and Vietnam. Will our international students please rise and be recognized? We always like to recognize our graduates for whom commencement truly is about the Mesa family, literally. Faith DeSandro's stepmother, Gwendolyn Ulrich Schlumbum, works in the San Diego Mesa College History Department. Tam Trung's brother, Hai Trung, works for the MT2C. Esther Boutros has a sister, Zena Boutros, working in the Mesa College Library. Hui Do's mother works in the biology lab. We also like to recognize graduates whose family are a part of our larger district community. Both of Candace Tapia's parents work for college police, Kimberly Tapia and Jesus Tapia. Rochelle Salonga's aunt, Lorenza Mendoza, works in the financial aid office at City College. Although we may not have mentioned all of the relationships, 45 of our graduates are employees of the San Diego Community College District. These positions are spread all over different departments on campus with everything from the LRC to the biology lab, Mesa Food Services, outreach, tutoring center, admissions, mental health, and exercise science. Our students work as tutors, cashiers, project assistants, ambassadors, peer navigators, and many more positions. We are proud that these students give back to our district 
and the Mesa community. Many of our graduates are the first member of their family to attend college and earn a degree. If you are the first person in your family to receive a college degree, please stand. Congratulations on your achievement. Every single graduate should be proud of the significant things you have accomplished at San Diego Mesa College. Now that our audience has met our graduates, I'm proud to introduce you to our next set of speakers. Maria Nieto Senor, President of the Board of Trustees, who will be followed by Chancellor Constance Carroll. Thank you. Good afternoon. What a beautiful day this is. How beautiful you all look from here. I am honored to serve as president of the Board of Trustees. The board members were introduced earlier, but let me add just a few comments about the board. We're elected by you, the citizens of San Diego, and we feel a great responsibility to all of you because you have chosen us to serve you. We work hard to ensure that our colleges are academically excellent and that our students are well educated and well prepared for their jobs. We do our best to work with the state legislature to keep your education affordable. And we're proud that the enrollment fees you pay are the lowest in the entire nation. Let me say on behalf of the, of the board that we're very proud of all that you have achieved with your associate degrees and certificates and bachelor's degrees. By graduating today, you are not just college graduates, although that's a very important thing to be, but you're also role models. Like many of you, uh, who have uh, faced significant challenges, I also, and, and, and others up here on the stage, have had to struggle to get our educations and accomplish what we've accomplished with effort and sacrifice, and understand that it takes both. As graduates, you are definitely academically accomplished, but you have also studied and embraced broader principles of life, especially social justice, the notion that Justice is what love looks like in public. The board and I hope that you will put those principles to work in everything you'll do while you demonstrate your expertise in your areas of study. Your graduation day is a day of optimism. Please keep that same level of optimism and positive expectations as you move forward in all of your interactions with each other and the world. Thank you for letting me share these brief thoughts with you. Thank you for the time you have spent with us here at San Diego Mesa College and the San Diego Community College District. Congratulations, class of 2018. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure uh, to join you as uh, uh, representing the San Diego Community College District. It's important to note that the, uh, the, our, our total district is very, very large. We have over 105,000 students all together at uh, Mesa, City, Miramar, and Continuing Education. But what we do best in our district is to celebrate individual students, and we're so proud to celebrate you in this commencement. This commencement is a celebration of deep commitment, for, and you've, you've um, shared that with the faculty, the staff, and the administrators of Mesa College. But there's a very special person who provides leadership and a great deal of support for the college who needs to be thanked, and that is your amazing and wonderful president, Dr. Pam Luster.
And now you're connected with a really ancient tradition in higher education, and that's why you're all decked out in gowns and mortarboards, not things that you would wear shopping. But, well, maybe some of you would, I don't, I don't know. But I wish you could see yourselves as I see you now, uh, in, in looking so very handsome. And I think that you would agree with me, tell me if you do, that you are the best looking graduating class in San Diego. With this commencement, not very modest graduating class, but good looking, with this commencement, the San Diego Community College District effectively demonstrates its support and service to the community. You are now part of the 3,833 students district-wide who will receive associate degrees. You are part of the 6,918 students who will receive certificates of achievement and some of you are part of the, 15, the 16 students, and there are only 16 who will receive bachelor's degrees. And in this, in this commencement, um, the district will graduate a total of 10,751 students in the great class of 2018. Finally, let me place your achievement in a broader context. There is a, a report that comes out each year, and you may want to look it up. And it, uh, it talks about the world's population, which is now 7.6 billion people. And it presents that population as if it were a village of only 100 people. And just a few excerpts of what this village would look like and see where you fit in. The village would have 61 Asians, 13 Africans, 12 Europeans, 14 from North and South America, including five from the US and Canada. 80 people in the village would live in substandard housing, most without running water or, or sanitation. 83 would be able to read and write. 12 would own a computer, but only one, and listen to this statistic in our village, only one would have a college education. And that is where you fit in the village and in the world. By graduating from Mesa, you are now part of the top 1% of achievers in the entire world. Yeah. Now that you are college graduates, we wish you success in your future studies and careers. We hope that you will always remember Mesa College and value the importance of education in your lives. Class of 2018, congratulations. So one of the things that I enjoy most about my job, and if you ever get to do a job like this, honestly, dream job, it's awesome running a college, so talk to me, happy to help you out with that. But I love talking to all of you. I like meeting you, I like finding out what's going on in your lives. If you've ever been in an elevator with me at Mesa, you know that I will know what your major is by the time we hit the floor you're going to, because I will talk to you. And last year at this commencement, I dropped a little Kendrick Lamar and Sia on the crowd. And of course, we know that Kendrick won the Pulitzer Prize. Coincidence? I think not. Clearly, someone Googled my performance last year and thought, well, that spoken word was on fire. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, um, this year, I'm looking over this class, and I find two things in common among many that you have helped us create a deeper sense of love on our campus, and that you have stretched yourself beyond what you thought capable when you started your journey at Mesa. I wish that I could speak to every single one of you and hear your dreams, but in the words of SZA and Kendrick, don't get too excited, it's only one line this year, this is the night 
that your dreams have let you know that you are closer to the stars. In the stories you shared at commencement registration, you told us about all the different things that it took for you to graduate from Mesa College. You talked about being homeless. You talked about overcoming illness. You talked about being depressed and scared and how hard your classes were. And you talked about not, being, not having English as your first uh, language, but still learning in your courses. But you also told us about your determination, your resolve to complete your education no matter how many years it took, of how the DREAM Act had given you hope, but its uncertainty challenges your future, of the professors and staff who inspired you and gave you the help you needed, and the friends and faculty that supported you along the way. Programs like EOPS and STAR and Puente and Mesa Academy, Honors Seeds, DSPS, STEM Conexiones and Tutoring, helped you feel like you're included in the Mesa family with so many stories to tell. Here's just a few things I do know. While we built new buildings and transformed the campus, it took patience to find parking or an Uber or a Lyft or a ride or however you got to class. And construction fences went up and down as some buildings disappeared, but new beautiful ones magically appeared. While you were with us, we launched our farmer's market so that we can feed our community with free food once a month on our campus. I hope you've been able to take advantage of that. Our Olympian student athletes played with skill and sportsmanship this year, representing 21 men's and women's athletic teams, winning state and national honors, and earning playoff appearances. And for the first time, we think, in the history of the college, our football team won the Southern California Bowl. You had the opportunity to participate in over 2,600 events on our campus just this year, celebrating diversity, Mother Earth, advocacy, social justice, real talk, Latinx connections, and art. We celebrated writers with Mesha Visions. We came together at Common Grounds and so much more. You've done all the different things that you get to do in your classrooms. You cared for animals. You served exquisite cuisine. You designed a website. You played with chemicals. Played might not be the word our chemists enjoy me using. You studied DNA. You solved equations. You wrote poetry. You gave a speech. You gave back. You learned about yourself, society, and the world. You learned to compose music, write and act in plays, and express yourself on a canvas. And we hope that you found your passion and where you're headed next. You've all made your mark on Mesa, but let me lift up a few of you so we can celebrate your brilliance. You might hear your name, and if you do, I'd appreciate it if you'd stand. Maya Wakefield. Where are you, sweetie? Is she here? Oh, she's coming from work. I'll talk to her later. Well, I'm going to talk about her anyway, because she's one of our Roots scholars. She's an Emoja leader. She's a social justice warrior, and she tells her stories through spoken words. She inspires me. Nichelle Bayo. Can I see you out there somewhere, Nichelle? Nichelle Bayo, lead peer navigator, scholar, DACA advocate, social justice warrior, and all around amazing woman. You inspire me. Sean Vizvizar, I knew I was going to screw up your name, Sean, but I tried. Our Mesa College rocket man, NASA intern, STEM scholar, and soon-to-be UCI student, you inspire me. J.D. Dineros, where are you, J.D.? Started at Kearney High in our Fast Track program, became a SEED scholar, a, pro a Promise program scholar, and now heading off to SDSU. You inspire me, J.D. And Simon Sandoval. Where are you, Simon? You made me cry yesterday, so I'm going to make you cry now. From soldier to student to scholar, thank you for your service, humility, persistence. And in just a few years, in this very venue, 
When you matriculate to USD, you can graduate from USD. Thank you. You inspire me, Simon. When it comes to love and closing out my thoughts, for me, it's really best said in the words of Mama Coco. All right, I'm going to do this. You guys ready? OK. Recuerda Mesa. That's it. That's all I'm singing. OK. <laughs> but remember us. Los llevamos en nuestros corazones. Felicidades a todos. Remember Mesa. You're all in our hearts. Congratulations to everyone. And now it is my distinct privilege to introduce you to the 2018 Distinguished Alumnus Antonio Martinez. While a student at Mesa, you can come on up, Antonio. While a student at Mesa, Mar Mr. Martinez studied philosophy, politics, and economics. He graduated in 2005 and transferred to the University of Pennsylvania, that's an Ivy, where he graduated with honors with a degree in philosophy, politics, and econ. He returned to San Diego and since 2012 has been a member of the San Ysidro School Board. He also serves on the board of the San Ysidro Community Planning Group and their Recreation Council. Currently, Mr. Martinez serves as the Director of Public Relations at Imperial Beach Community Clinic. As you hear him tell his story, I think that many of you will hear similarities to your own. Thank you for joining us today, Antonio. Thank you. I am honored and humbled to receive Mesa College's 2018 Distinguished Alumni Award. And today is a very good day for all of us, not only because it's graduation day, but because it is an opportunity of a lifetime. The education that you received at Mesa College will open many doors for you in the near future. In fact, it is because of my years in Mesa College that I was able to get accepted to the University of Pennsylvania. The education that I received at Mesa College gave me the foundation I needed to be successful in an Ivy League school and graduate summa cum laude with distinction in philosophy, politics, and economics. The professors I had at Mesa College were just as good, if not better, than the ones I had at UPenn. So rest assured that the education you have received at Mesa will carry you far. In fact, I remember just like it was yesterday that I was a student at Mesa College and I carried my big backpack filled with books. I remember having to park far because at that time, especially at the beginning of the semester, parking was so scarce. And I also remember rushing to my class after parking car and being drenched in sweat. Since then, I have been told that parking availability has improved, which is good to hear. I remember having many cups of coffee as I studied for finals and midterms in, the, in our cafeteria at Mesa. I remember that if you would have told me back then that I would be here today giving this speech, I would have never believed you. And a lot of, and a lot of us, you know, when we look at where we're going, a lot of us face many challenges in life, myself included. And I'm sorry to say that even after today, Life is not going to get any easier. As a Latino growing up in San Isidro, I remember a time in my childhood when after a certain hour, we would have to go inside and lock the door because we would hear gunshots at night. Gangs and drugs were prevailing in my neighborhood and my community. Yet despite this, I knew that having a good education would lead to success. Mesa College, because of its affordability and accessibility, gave me that opportunity. Now, before I conclude, I want to share some advice, especially now that there's a lot of talk on what you need to do to be successful in life. In my opinion, there's two things you need to do in order to be successful. First, always work hard. In my experience, the harder you work, your chances of success in any endeavor will be greater. There are no shortcuts, though. When accomplishing a task, if you dedicate the time, you will be successful. For example, a lot of people ask me, how was I able to be successful at an Ivy League school? I get a lot of questions. Antonio, are you really that smart? And my answer is very simple. I'm a hard worker. At UPenn, I was always the first to arrive to class and the last to leave class. 
I spent countless hours doing homework, writing essays, and studying. And because of that hard work, the successful res results were there. So please, in anything you do, know that you need to work hard in order to be successful. Number two, exude confidence always. What this means is that you need to be proud of who you are. Be proud of where you come from and be proud of your loved ones that are here today that help you get to where you are. Never forget who you are and be proud of it. Whether it is going to a job interview, cleaning your car, or even running for the President of the United States of America, exuding confidence complemented by hard work will ensure you are successful. I, for example, will never forget my time as a Mesa College student, which were some of the best years of my life. I have Mesa College every day in my heart, and I'm proud of it. And I want to thank every single professor that I had during my time at Mesa College. I especially want to thank Professor Sandra Fritsch, who guided me through my transfer as a student to Mesa College to the University of Pennsylvania. Professor Fitch, if you are listening to this, thank you for helping me succeed in life and being one of my harbingers of hope. I want to thank every special guest here today, especially Mesa College and its Board of Trustees, for this great honor. I am proud to be part of your distinguished alumni. Let us continue to work hard to ensure that every San Diego Community College student receives the best quality education and has the same opportunity to succeed. Thank you. Thank you so much, Antonio. And we have a little token of our appreciation here for you. Our distinguished, I'm now going to have fingerprints all over it for you. Thank you. Congratulations to them all. All right, and now I'd like to introduce our Vice President of Instruction, Tim McGrath, who will introduce our student speaker. Just taking one bender. Keep it on the page. That's right, yeah, keep just one. Good afternoon. I'm excited to be here today and it's all because of you. I'm Tim McGrath, Vice President of Instruction at San Diego Mesa College. Today, it's my honor to introduce our 2018 student commencement speaker, Matilda Christofferson. Last semester, Matilda served as Vice President of Associated Students, and even though her schedule changed, she has been de dedicated to creating a community of inclusion and working closely with faculty, staff, and students to promote involvement and engagement. For example, she coordinated the annual ASA, AS leadership retreat focusing on leadership, development, communication, and team building. She just <clears throat> successfully recently completed the Leadership Equity Action Development Series and received a certificate of completion from San Diego State University. Matilda is a scholarship recipient and a leader with a bright future. Please help me welcome Matilda, your 2018 class speaker. Thank you, Vice President McGrath. You have made my stay at Mesa so memorable, and I will miss you. Nelson Mandela once said, our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frighten us the most. After moving here from Sweden two years ago, I only had a few weeks to settle into my new culture and home before beginning my education at Mesa College. So the first day stepping onto our campus, I came bearing a heavy backpack of fears. The reality is that we all had fears when we started here, but with guidance from our incredible faculty and staff, our backpack of fears 
became lighter. Thank you, President Pamela Luster, professors, administrators, faculty, and staff for being here and making this journey possible. The fact that you are all in for students makes all the difference. Also, let's give a big thank you to all of our families. They have traveled here today from as near as Claremont to as far away as Sweden with love and support for us in the pursuit of our dreams. During the first fearful day at Mesa College, one of my professors actually asked the class about our biggest fears. And there were two that almost everyone shared. The fear of public speaking and the fear of failing in life. Let's start with our first fear the fear of public speaking. Most of us have taken public speaking, a class that is notorious for creating fear. But with help with fantastic professors, such as Professor Molinas and Professor Nugent Odasso, we learn <laughs> that our greatest fears can become our greatest strengths. By forcing us to confront our fears and then helping us to overcome them, Mesa taught us that we are capable of achieving more than we had previously thought. For instance, they took a student with a deathly fear of public speaking and turned her into someone who could confidently speak at a graduation ceremony. <laughs> now, let us move into our second fear, the fear of failing in life. After years of investing in ourselves and increasing our potential at Mesa College, many of us share in the fear that we won't live up to this potential. Maybe that is what Nelson Mandela had in mind when he said he would fear the light more than the darkness. Attempting to achieve success leaves us vulnerable for failure. But here at Mesa, we also learn that the rewards are greater than the risks. We learn how to turn this negative fear into positive action. Today, I stand in front of you as an honor student. I served as the vice president for associated students. I competed for the speech and debate team, and I was accepted for transfer to my dream school, San Diego State University. <laughs> However, I'm just a part of the story. We are all here today, ready to receive our diplomas because we have learned that the rewards of success are greater than the risk of failure. We are now stepping into a new phase of our lives, and change can be really scary. But here's an idea. Maybe fear is a compass that shows us where to go and where to grow. If it truly is our light and not our darkness that frighten us, well, then it has to mean that the absolute best things comes out of doing what scares us the most. Real courage is not the absence of fear, but it is the ability to step out of those fears to honor our dreams, embrace and love our fears, and thank them for guiding you. Trust that whatever your next step is, your time at Mesa have prepared you for the greatest success. You got this. Remember, our Mesa family does not end here. As alumni, we will always have a home at San Diego Mesa College. I am so incredibly honored and excited to congratulate Mesa's class of 2018. We did it! Thank you, Matilda. This year, as you've heard us mention, for the first time in history, Mesa will be conferring bachelor's degrees to its graduates today. Therefore, we felt it was only fitting to have a student speaker represent those students. I'm pleased to announce that our second speaker is student Brandy Raz. Brandy is a double graduate of Mesa having first graduated in 2005 with her degree in HIT and now in 2018 with a bachelor's degree in health information management. 
In addition to being a student, Brandy is also an instructor in the two-year program. According to her instructors, Brandy is a leader in the health information field and her team of coders at UC San Diego. She loves to teach. She's extremely bright. When she's in the classroom, her groups come alive. She's one of the most positive people we know. So please join me in welcoming Brandy, our 2018 Health Information Management student speaker. She was born, she lived, she died. All of us share the same plot, but it's living between those words that makes a great story. This chapter at Mesa for me began in 2005 when I first graduated with my associate degree in health information technology. That led me to a challenging and successful career at several healthcare organizations here in San Diego, many of which I was first exposed to in my Mesa internships. And I believe strongly in audience participation, so when I say, who should you hire? Please all answer with me, hire Mesa graduates. So who should you hire? Fantastic. After graduation, I got married and had two incredible and incredibly challenging children, Dash and Callie. Fast forward to 2014. The news broke that San Diego Mesa was selected to offer the new bachelor program in my field, health information management. With a growing family, I had looked at other paths to this degree, but the huge costs associated had just put this next step impossibly out of reach. While waiting for the program to start, I continued my career. I was now able to work with many Mesa graduates. I was also in a position to hire Mesa graduates. And as an employer, I knew that I was getting amazing candidates who were well prepared when I hired from San Diego Community Colleges. Who should you hire? Hire Mesa graduates, right. Also while waiting, I had an opportunity to experience healthcare from the patient side of things when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was able to complete my treatment and be back at work just six months later. Just after that, my beloved husband, Carl, passed away from a disease that we did not realize would take his life. How would I ever be able to go on the journey of getting my bachelor degree now? How could I make time for school with two little children to care for? Like many of us today, the answer is that this degree is not mine alone. It belongs to a village of family and friends who cared enough to make it possible for me to attend classes, do homework, and keep going through the tough times. Thank you, Mom, Lisa, and Paul. Yeah. My next chapter at Mesa finally began. The brand new HIM degree program had everything I was looking for. Rigorous academic content professors and students with real-world experience, and amazing resources to support me as a student. Remember when I said that as an employer, I looked for Mesa graduates? Well, just after starting school again, a Mesa professor sought me out for a new role where many of my classmates were now my coworkers. Who should you hire? Hire Mesa graduates, absolutely. That first year was full of long nights, homework-filled weekends, and stressed out students and professors breaking new ground together. It was also filled with spirited discussions and debates. Most importantly, it brought a vision that our Mesa Bachelor class could fundamentally change the local community by bringing cutting-edge knowledge from our courses back to our places of work. These classes may have been tough, but these students were even tougher. The commitment of the HIM students and professors collectively kept us all moving to graduation during a range of personal challenges in our class. Last year, I was approached about joining the Mesa faculty as a professor for the HIT program that I graduated from all those years ago. I said yes and taught last fall. Many of my students in this fantastic class are graduating from the AS program today. Congratulations to them. Those students shined. 
so smart, so prepared and hardworking. Who should you hire? Absolutely. I offer my congratulations to all of the students, staff, and faculty, and to the members of this audience that have given their love and support to the graduates here today. Keep writing your life's great story. This Mesa chapter is done. And as we get ready to start conferring your degrees, we hope that you will enjoy this very special video tribute to the class of 2018, entitled Making History. 2017-2018 was a year of making history, so this video is dedicated to you. Feel free to cheer and enjoy along the way. I'd like to thank the Office of Communications and the students, faculty, and staff for a great year. So enjoy making history.
All right, now I would like to introduce Dr. Kim Perigo, Academic Senate President, who will present the graduates. Okay, graduates, it's about to get exciting in here. I'm very excited to be here on this historic day, and I'm very fortunate to stand here today to represent your amazing, wonderful, dedicated professors. I want you to know faculty work very hard inside and outside the classroom to ensure you have the absolute best educational experience possible. Mesa College has such high academic standards that we are often referred to as the Harvard on the Hill, and we're very proud of that. We are humbled, we are privileged to have been part of your journey, and I can tell you that we're extremely proud to see you all here today. And let it be known that we had faith that you would be here from the very first day we met you. Will the graduates please rise? I told you it was about to get exciting. It gives me great pleasure to present you the graduating class of 2018. These students have successfully completed the requirements for Bachelors of Science, Associate in Arts, and Associate in Sciences degrees, and for Certificates of Achievement. They have been duly recommended by the faculty of San Diego Mesa College to receive their degrees and certificates, which will be conferred by Maria Nieto, Sr., President of the Board of Trustees for the San Diego Community College District. Congratulations, graduates. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of San Diego Mesa College, these students have been presented and accepted as candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Sciences, Associate in Arts, and Associate in Science, and for Certificates of Achievement. By the authority vested in me by the State of California, the Board of Governors of the Community of the California Community Colleges and the Board of Trustees of the San Diego Community College District, I hereby confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Science, Associate in Arts, and Associate in Science, and the certificates of achievement you have earned, and all the rights and privileges to which you are entitled. Congratulations Please come forward to receive your degrees. Graduates, after you receive your degrees, we would ask that you return to your seats and stay for the entire program so that we can honor all the graduates. Thank you. Brandy Raz. Michelle Gurola. Sharada Karnam. Andrea Seidenkrantz. Sean Sanidad. Victoria Bradbury. Jennifer Cooper Phipps. Viviana Watson. Elizabeth Pesey. Henry Cunningham. Benjeline Andriga.
Adelina Arabalo. Linda Bredesen. Nauko Schmidt. Elvia Esquer. Joseph Garcia Collin. Omar Sanchez. Michelle Arthur. Randia Pope. Charlene Harness. Megan Wagner. Tranika Kevito. Vincent Huyn. Aaron Haley. Jose Vargas Martinez. Esteban Villalobos. Juliana Rintu. Colette Lopicolo. Delicia Clark. Nicole Esposito. Alexis Nicole Wall. Isabel Benedini Sampao. Jay Saruk. Anthony Turner. Anthony Sefsik. Akram Aldina. Yeah. Dian Wen. Stephanie Cass. Rochelene Lavises Williams. Cynthia Laro. Norma Gutierrez. Eliana Godinez. Savannah Wallace. Erica Byrne. Erica Byrne. Jillian Abuzahal. Hannah Malau Olu. Adele Rafia. Jamie Lee Tipton. Alejandra Abarca Lara. Veronica Gilmore Hawks. Catherine Diaz. Kelly Stewart. Eric Wilsker. Eric Wilsker. 
Miriam Lozano Duran. Darian Jones. Darian Jones. Tiana Franklin. Savetsar. Sean Savetsar. Deanne Wendland. Mario Banuelos. Mario Banuelos. Yusuf Asusi. Justin Gannon. Kristen LaRue. Kristen LaRue. Tyler Peters. Addison Ashley. Addison Ashley. Dahlia Quintero. Dahlia Quintero. Maria Camille Dicotti. Donica Morris. Donica Morris. Okay. It's me now. <laughs> Anna Tucker. Shanna Flores. <laughs> Katrina Campbell. Lavana Weish, Sherlyn Brasley, Kamaya Richardson, Kelly Frazier, Brianna Caver. John Knoxville. Zamir Sultani. Andreas, Andreas. Andreas McCauley. Shakita Truesdale. Jessica Sanchez Ramos. Carlos Sanchez Ramos. Ashley Cashman. Megan Jenkins. Vanessa Esparza. Alberto Garcia. Regina Henry. Maria Cruz. Alana Hill. Anthony Uch. Samuel Graves. Kyle Yates. Daniela Benson. Stevan Marshall. Stevan Marshall. <laughs> Efren Olivas. <laughs> Ryan Kerr. Woo! 
Jamion Drummond. Woo! Nicole Haas Ellison. Samuel Barber. Geronimo De Silva Vasellis. Grecia Adriana Rivas. Alura Garris. Julia Kate Oria Hamitano. Rebecca Partida. Marcel Anderson. Daisy Pinal. Unjung Kate Yu. Ida Ayala. Mayan Barnas. Mayan Barnas. Herman Duarte. Herman Duarte. Matthew Babcock. Elizabeth Vincent. Victoria Lacerna. Allison Mayville. Zapeng Zhang. Jordan Nash. Cassandra Casares. Joshua Quiros. Nina Geisler. Haley Shilgen. Joanne Barkuff. Sierra Matthews. Giovanni Gutierrez. Esteban Ruiz Miller. Emmanuel Preciado. Gerardo Gardner. Deza Brackeen. Can you say Robert in between here? That's Stinchcomb. William Robert Stinchcomb the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elliot Avant. Alexandria Adams. Alexandria Adams. Celine Liang. Celine Liang. Elaine Druin. Marie Kaburian. Marie Kaburian. Isabel Quintero. Isabel Quintero. Victoria Blasquez Spleen. Victoria Blasquez Spleen. Michelle Gepstein. Michelle Gepstein.
Joji Fillmore. Christina Aaron Perez. Kathleen Kiefner. Ashley K. Michelle Hart. D. Ann Sims. Albert Lobato. Ren Madredeo. Ren Madredeo. Jonathan Yoro. Jonathan Yoro. Ernesto Rodriguez. Ernesto Rodriguez. Ricardo Bustos. Ricardo Bustos. Jose Mendoza. Jose Mendoza. Fatima Farud. Eric Jazen. Angelica Moreno. Angelica Moreno. Jocelyn Jimenez. Jocelyn Jimenez. Evan Kist. Evan Kist. Toriana Washalowski. Kylie White. Kylie White. David Stringham. David Stringham. Brittany Page. Brittany Page. Alexander Castro. Alexander Castro. Stephanie Villegas. Stephanie Villegas. Anya Lavoy. Anya Lavoy. Georgiana Clark. Georgiana Clark. Alyssa Stewart. Alyssa Stewart. Marina Parks. Let's pause a second until they get their thing and then we have the Brianna Wick. Kelly Dickinson. Thank you. Kelly Dickinson. Aaron Salinas. Aaron Salinas. Esmeralda Munoz. Adelaida Mogrovejo Leano. Rosemary Ramon. Nicole Cyrus. Samantha Emery. Danielle Denae. Sage Martin. Heather Just. Ksenia Botnovic. Botnovic. 
Amber Tillis. Nuria Almeida. David Gonzalez. Zukia Otman Anderson. Jacqueline Recinos Lopez. Jessica Pacheco Espinoza. Anna Marquez Luna. Michael McKittrick. Jose Hernandez. Jose Hernandez. How do you pronounce your last name? Uh, <laughs> Kenneth Dutkowitz. <laughs> Janelli Roman Rivera. <laughs> Malia Howley. Gabriela Garcia. Casey Holden. Sierra Hudson. Okay, you, you ready? Karen Gutierrez. Jana Angela Maglipan Tan. Jason Norman Magupan Tan. Kaito Tano. Diego Garcia. Chuk Lee. Lin Ho. Alexandra Baki. Lindsay Grenfell. Devin Julau. Santos Quiros. Shavel Yang. Kayla Sinfield. Martha Sandoval Ariano. Rachel Salonga. Carla Maldonado. Andrea Villanueva. Celia Payan. Casey Cole. <laughs> Melissa Baker. Michelle Salas.
Melissa Salas. Vivian Ramirez. Colleen Davis. Leslie Manjaras. Jocelyn Lopez. Jocelyn Lopez. Sasha McArya. Sasha McArya. Yesenia Jacobo. Yacqueline Hernandez Erdan. Jaden Stewart. Jaden Stewart. Melissa Perez. Melissa Perez. Keanu Duzor. Keanu Duzor. Mary Ann Long. Karina Basarte. Karina Basarte. Erica Casillas. Erica Pasillas. Johnny Sierra. Johnny Sierra. Lauren Reynolds. Olivia Marquez. Olivia Marquez. Myra Velasquez Jaimes. Myra Velasquez Jaimes. Maritza Hernandez. Maritza Hernandez. Hannah McCabe. Hannah McCabe. Paige Cowan. Sally Phillip. Sally Phillip. Hira Ismail. Hira. Hira Ismail. Hira Ismail. Karina Pena. Karina Pena. Dahlia Panada. Brady Orschel. Brady Orschel. Sochil Marquez. Sochil Marquez. Ariel Civil. Ariel Civil. Carlisha Rowe. Carlisha Rowe. Gabriela Viegas. Shannon Viado. Shannon Viado. Rebecca Lamont Toland. Rebecca Lamont Toland. Paula Rainey. Paula Rainey. Yumi Yamamoto. Yumi Yamamoto. Stacy Hunter. Barabi Atkinson. Barabi Atkinson. Lerma Di Malanta. Lerma Di Malanta. Linda Brady. Linda Brady. Cameron Horm. Charlie Harris.
Johnny Reyes. Zachary Grow. We know that. Simon Sandoval. Danny Sandoval. Ascalu Towelde. Jacob Titus. Brandon Cornell. Tristan Mendoza. Muridi Ikar. Kyle Flinty. Maria Eva Elena. Jose Guzman Lopez. Adrian De La Cerda. Andrea Crucena. Nariman Raisov. Michael Hack. Sarah Gould. Yanping Lu. Juana Alcala. Alice Martin. Kaylin Dolan, Jillian Dolan, Alexis Kramer. Victoria Kent. Lucia Centeno Gaxiola. Dulce Rivera. Karen Mitchell. Sandra Sandoval. Francisco Iniguez. Matthew Phillips. Chelsea Bledsoe. Giovanna Figueiredo. Maritza Valdez. Levar Johnson. Alicia Horton.
Raha Tomasebi. Agnes Ledesma Pulido. Annalisa Young. Tabitha Hawegi. Adrian Limas. Kenya Gongora. Vanja Nikolova. Jessica Hernandez. Takako Hatayama. Hannah Baker. Jean Walker. Tovia Trejo. <laughs> Nashelle Bello. Marlena Gonzalez. Yachime Ruiz. Drew Saunders. Jillian Dannenhauer. Rachel Carpenter. Anthony Reyes. Merrick Herzog. Angela Esteban. Angelica Lopez. Norma Perez. Alan Ha. Dennis Tolentino. Myrna Martinez. Alex X. Estes. Zina Butras. Esther Butras. Rita Georges. Sister Veronica Miriam. Sister Veronica Miriam. Andrew Lobenstein. Andrew Lobenstein. Edward Dent. Edward Dent. Drian Contreras. Drian Contreras. Just Pablo Santa Cruz. Pablo Santa Cruz. Okay. Just. Pablo Santa Cruz. Freddie Dominguez. Freddie Dominguez. Mark Lee. Guillermo Duarte. Guillermo Duarte. Reynaldo Garcia. Guillermo. Okay, that's okay. Reynaldo Garcia. Jason Lee. 
Jason Lee. Sadiq Khatib. Sadiq Khatib. Margarita Torres. Margarita Torres. Leah Herrera. Damian Smith. Damian Smith. Roxanne Lerma. Roxanne Lerma. Ozgun Zokan Aragon. Ree Lynn Robinson. Janeth Ibanez. Janeth Ibanez. Gamaliel. Gamaliel. Gamaliel Lopez. Brent Rubia. Brent Rubia. Rose Servita. Rose Servita. Marcella Ortiz. Marcella Ortiz. Samantha Schmidt. Samantha Schmidt. Nestora Reyes. Nestora Reyes. Diana Chavez. Diana Chavez. David Evelo. David Evelo. Taylor Schaefer. Taylor Schaefer. Samuel Klemek. Samuel Klemek. Maj Altarehi. Steve Hernandez Molina. Raimundo Gonzalez. Thank you. Reedmir Bersabe. Sarah Raggio. Miley Penhall. Reina Lozano. Andrea Cisneros Murillo. Farid Lopez Hernandez. Miriam Mendoza. Zubaida Kadim. John Wanzer. That win. Karina Rivera. Marlene Flores. Lacey Herman. Danielle Sanchez. Yeah. 
Claudia Tello. Carolina Mejía. Rosela Lierras. Jackie Tran. Myra Bernacci. Sigawaini Muhari. Sarah Tran. Lindsay Crow. Eric Nino. Melanie Ryder. Kiana Kwiatkowski. John Mariano. Jamarcus Moody. Queen Tran. Elaine Aguayo. Tamara Lescano. Michael Santos. Victoria Rio Florido. Amanda Thompson. Chip Miller. Chris Alexis Eslava. Ryan Dardar. Michael Sedgwick. Donald Franson. Vito Williams. Sarah Holbrook. Rodrigo Jimenez. Jason Reap. Elizabeth Tolkey. Avelina Nears. Kateria Colon Rivera. Caitlin Lindsay. Susana Castaneda. Ashley Lovato. Pitsini Giratamrankarn. Oh my. You had to do that. I got this. Oh, 
Miara Sirilati Rakul. Federico Aguirre. Joel Sorman. Angeline Grace Tapia. Adam Tran. Tony Wynn. <laughs> Leslie Gutierrez. <laughs> Savannah Phillips. <laughs> Tao Wynn. Tam Trong. Brian Knight. Brian Knight. Angela Youth. <laughs> Angela Youth. Jordan Garshot. Jordan Garshot. J.D. Faye Dineros. Alexandra Cassison. Alexandra Cassison. Marahan Wally. Marahan Wally. Gabrielle Quiggle. Gabrielle Quiggle. Rukia Kazimi. Rukia Kazimi. Michael Cardinale. Michael Cardinale. Ba, 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 ba. McNeil. <laughs> William McNeil. Nina Guile. Nina, oh, Nina. Nina Guile. Cassandra Avilas. Cassandra Avilas. Kiara Hanks. Woo! Anthony Hanks. Anthony Hanks. <laughs> Elon Gitman. Elon Gitman. Hui Do. Hui Do. Cassidy Bartolo. Cassidy Bartolo. Nilufar Shanti Yai. Nilufar Shanti Ai. Reem Khalifa. Reem Khalifa. Emma Villegas. Emma Villegas. Chadwick Sia. Chadwick Ciel. Danica Vilasa. Danica Vyasin. Jennifer Woodruff. Jennifer Woodruff. Rebecca Alfaro. Alondra Hernandez. Alberto Quiros. <laughs> 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 
Marlon Benjamin. Jose Franco Rojo. He Trung. Philip Tarantino. Karina Tarasova. Cole McDaniel. Deshaun Lambert. Diedrich Lambert. Jacqueline Arias. Jaquel Smith. Kier Gregg. Amon Gregg. Ronaldo Ochoa. Oscar Junior Ruben Reyes Sanchez. Marco Olea. Jeremy Silva. <laughs> Nolan Harris. Victor Smith the third. Darnell Harris, Jr. Belen Ortiz. Leticia Suturbitz. Kimberly Novobilski. Christine Bias. Irene Tiger. Todrick Anderson. I didn't call you. Jason Kubo. You're not graduating. Michelle Urbino. Mintu Wen. Micah Hunter. 
Francis Stocky. Isabel Fuentes. Taylor Mickelson. William Wilson. Faith DeSandro. Milana Joinson Sikarica. Mario Quijada. Michael Berry. Lucero Sanchez. Kasra Danishmir. Jasmine Sereno. Ashley Zinnin. Karen Fromm. Michael Scott. Javier Garden. Daniel Coffey. Katie Garrison. <laughs> Alyssa Hauser. Eric Kwan. Cody Scolari. Atina Amirta. Gina Blanchard. <laughs> Ann Powers. Dominic Williams. Dominic Williams. Sharian Perkins. Tierra Ford. Ford. Lauren Maragliata. Nicole Queen. Nicole Queen. Taylor Page. David Rosas Mendoza. David Rosas Mendoza. The following 12 people are from the interpreter training program. Morgan Johansson. Cody Toscano. Oceanne Friedman. Oceanne oh, Friedman. Jeremy Augustus Josephat. Jeremy Augustus Josephat. Cat Curry. Cat Curry. Ashley Varga. Ashley Varga. Kaya Anders. Kasia Stewart. K 
Kasia Stewart. Arlena De Jesus. Arlena De Jesus. Alexis Perez. Alexis Perez. Steven Perez. Wilberto Romero. Wilberto Romero. Mori. Heather Mori. Heather Mori. Luis Perez. Luis Perez. Michael Wilson. Michael Wilson. The following 14 students are from Mesa's Medical Assisting Program. Natalie Gallardo. Oh, thank you. Cynthia Peralta. <laughs> Maricruz Ortega. <laughs> Moises Alvarez Murillo. Claudia Garcia. Kim Vu. Zarina Villegas. Emmy Tetch. Andrea Rosas. Estela Cisneros. Ashley Ayala Beltran. Bia Messina. Sarah Dase. Brenda Wynn. Benjamin Lira. Jakira Jacobs. Tiana Ellis. Kalora Boyd. Janessa Escobar. Janessa Escobar. Are you over now? Oh, just stay there. Janae Craig. <laughs> Naja Craig. Marissa Carmichael Marquez. Pedro Guzman. Joshua Hyder. Oh, I thought you were Gabriel. Emily Bankston. Did I just say that to the mic? And you ripped it. Platon. Mary Platon. Adrian Lopez. I was going to say wait to the mic. Amelia, Amelia Ober. Lizzie Mata. Maria Torres Renteria. Wait, wait. Ya Li Huang. Okay, 
Elizabeth Alfaro. Yasmin Sharif Mohammed. Francesca Melchioni. Angela Carmona Carbajal. Marie Perrine. Jasmine McCoy. Francisco Villalobos. The next 17 students are from the Animal Health Technology Program. Jenny Kwan. Laura Aries. Miriam Soriano. Carla Sekiros. Marnice Vickers. Woo! Ashlyn Ambito. Woo! Ismael Ruiz. Lacey Bascom. Benjamin Saavedra. Christopher Gutierrez. Tara Conklin. Grace Rojas. Chase Atardo. Jenna Ingle. <laughs> Kayla Antelosi. <laughs> Uriza Delgado. <laughs> Mariah Wolf. Not when Serome Vern Umberto Wisan Nora Warren Leslie Mena Mendoza. Leslie Martinez. Ashley Manzo. Maria Nieto. Aranelli Miranda. Garrett Hogan. Jessalyn Ray Estepa Padua. You just call me Noel. It's easier. <laughs> Noel Rivera. Yuko Sasaki. Valerie Goril. Veronica Castillo. Veronica Castillo. Deborah Schley. Schley, pardon me. Deborah Schley. Janae. Janae Norman. Janae Norman. Gabriela Escalante. Gabriela Escalante. Zenobia Bain. 
Zenobia Bain. Mariana Vanessa Sanchez. Mariana Vanessa Sanchez. Ramiro Elescas. Ramiro Elescas. Kristen Kalhovda. Kristen Kalhovda. Benson Oshira. Benson Oshira. Ta Tao. Ta Tao. Anna Yakimchuk. Myrella Thomas. Myrella Thomas. Christine Kirkland. Christine Kirkland. Charlene Escobar. Charlene Escobar. Elizabeth Jimenez Flores. Elizabeth Jimenez Flores. Jocelyn Sassano. Jocelyn Sassano. Kyle Sabzali. Kyle Sabzali. Anasia Payton. Anasia Payton. Jesse Bobbish. Jesse Bobbish. Grayson McLean. Grayson McLean. Regine Arevalo. Regine Arevalo. Danny Cow. Danny Cow. Anna Wilkins. Anna Wilkins. Lucia Venezuela. Marlene Salazar. Marlene Salazar. Vanessa Cervantes. Vanessa Cervantes. Congratulations. Lauren Ariola Sanchez. Lauren Ariola Sanchez. Elizabeth Flores Carrillo. Elizabeth Flores Carrillo. Stephanie Sanchez Ponce. Stephanie Sanchez Ponce. Daniel Baker. Daniel Baker. Alex Steigers. Alex Steigers. Alondra Limon Soto. Yeah. Ross Rogers. Yeah. Maria Aguirre Benavente. Juliana Flores. Jonathan Pasarin. Jose Reynoso. Locke Wynn. Sheila Pasamonte. Pascal Agul. Mateo Moreno. Priscilla Glaze. Rakeem Williams.
Neda Rivas. Pablo Montes. Marlene Robles Garcia. Jocelyn Hernandez. Cesar Coda. Sophie Moraes Sao Marcos. Agatha Moraes Sao Marcos. Christina Espinas Sedlicek. Yvonne Umuhoza. Carmen San Nicolas. Jazal Bamani. Theodore Jerome. Lindsay Payne. Janina Pimentel. Angelica Fuentes. Freddy Barrios. Pablo Barrera. Jennifer Osornio. The next 20 students are from Interior Design. Estefany Nzunza Gravel. Marina Arcos. Lindley Favor. Tien Mencre. Lin Linda Hardowin. Evane Murto. Raquel Pompa. <laughs> Safa Jangi. I, I love the enthusiasm. Christina Crossman. <laughs> Nusia Gray. Sarah Correa. Svetlana Summers. Gabriela Corral. Madeline Ross. Leah MP. Kartuna Viswanathun. Sana Seregula. Afshin Homayunmer. Afshin Homayunmer. Yeah, 
Zuleika Quaresma. Maria Nagornyuk. Omid Azadpour. Navid Kazimi. Candice Tapia. Ruby Vahedi. Sylvia Arias. Angela Strohecker, Rigoberto Romero Jr., Shada Zagian, Zermaine Carpizo. Viviana Villarreal. Monique Vasquez. Jerlene Mason. Bizawit Kifle. Star Young. Ulia Sablan. Joe Newell. Matilda Christofferson. Will the graduates please stand? <laughs> now, now that you all, now that you all have received your degrees, it's appropriate to wear your tassel of your motor bar on the left side rather than the right. Please take your tassel with your right hand and at my signal, move it to the other side. Ready? Turn your tassels and congratulations, grads. You may be seated briefly. We're almost done. All right. Let me conclude this portion of our program by saying to you, the class of 2018, we wish you our sincere best wishes from your now alma mater, San Diego Mesa College. You are among thousands of Mesa College grads who make a difference. You represent the values of our college. You represent the faculty and staff who have taught and guided you. The memories will include laughter and tears, love and fears, classes, professors, mentors, advisors, exams, clubs, activities, competitions, and more as part of your Mesa experience. In everything you do, remember, you are making history. You represent San Diego Mesa College. You are Olympians forever.
I'd like to thank the three fine people that announced all of your names. Dr. Kim Perigo, Gabe Adana, and Eileen Crakes, thank you. Thank you to our commencement committee for helping us put on this amazing ceremony. Thank you to the faculty and student marshals who are assisting you today. And we're almost done, but not quite. We ask that you stay in your seats because we are going to march out in front of you and make a beautiful tunnel for you as the students exit. We will cheer you on on your way out. So stay where you are. We'll see you at the back. Congratulations to the class of 2018.